Dang, you guys. Already on the hype train. We start every stream with a hype train. Don't we? It's like every stream is a hype train. Good morning. How are you? So much hype. Too much. It's too much hype. It's only a Monday. Pace yourselves. Uh, I re I I got a um, machine plus from Native Instruments. Shout out to Native Instruments. Um, I think I mentioned these before. Um, I mentioned it before because well you can see. Hold on, let me see. There's my. This is the. Let me, I'm gonna grab this this keyboard or this camera and show you so this is the machine that I usually use it's plugged into the computer the new machine here is standalone so that's the plus that's the machine plus it's the same format as the other one but you don't need to use a computer with it it's Wi-Fi enabled which is super dope um, and you can put uh, sounds in and out of it I haven't been able to figure it out I haven't spent a ton, ton of time doing it, but I haven't been able to figure out how to use sounds.com with this because that would be so sick. Um, if they can, I don't know if they've done it or whatever. But um, yeah, so this this guy is, um, go and use it with a computer. I'm actually Discord right here. I'm just plugging this straight into the um, pedal board down below. Got a new pedal also recommended by our, our friend Ethan. Ethan's been our engineer on all the Linkin Park records for years and years. Um, got a Cooper FX, arc, what's it called? Arcades pedal. So the Cooper FX, actually I'll just show it to you on the screen instead of like trying to pick it up down below. Um, How do you spell arcades? <laughs> it's a Monday. Um, check this thing out here. Like, well, that's not a good picture of it, but here, let me see if I can show you a better picture of it. Um, it's a pedal that has like these little, like, like, um, di uh, not discs, they're like chips. It's like a chip that you put in the top of it and you can get different chips. Um, like, like imagine like a, like a cartridge, like a Nintendo or like a Sega. They're like little tiny cartridges that go up here in the top. And I say chip because it looks like, um, where is the little image of it? It doesn't have an image of it. It's it's exp like the the little br like like connector pins are exposed. So it looks more like to me it looks more like some raw piece of electronics than it does like a cartridge. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. I got a few different cartridges for it. Um, I got the pitch, the lo-fi. Um, Generation loss and synth. So we'll play around with some of those and um, and this machine plus. I'm just gonna run sounds from here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh no, guys. Oh no. It's the Rona. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I've been. It's very. Uh, it's very sneezy around here. It's COVID Noda. That's not nice. It's uh, yeah. Hopefully it's just allergies. I don't feel. I feel fine. I know. Stop joking about it. Every time anybody sneezes or coughs, it's the Rona. My shirt. Thank you. It's my friend's. Uh, it's a brand called Peace and After. Um. Oh, here's an image of that, what the little cartridges look like. So that's what they look like. 
They're like little keys, right? With the little connectors exposed. Um, yeah, so this little beat, I just pulled up some sounds. Let me do this. Um, I'm gonna pause this thing and I'm going to open a new audio track right here. And I'm going to just play, just get some sounds um, with no pedal on, okay? And we'll probably use some of the other pedals too. Probably use some of the old, like the stuff I've had for a while. Um, but yeah, you can just navigate in here like you do on a normal. I know don't, they're not like zoomed in on the whole experience here. I wonder if I could do that actually. I didn't think of that. You big dummy. <laughs> you know what I can do? Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Ready? You're going to be moving. Brace yourselves for um, for uh, motion sickness. Here we go. Okay, ready? Motion sickness. So here's the um, interface, right? And um, you basically can just like scroll through, like kind of like we do on the screen, um, just scroll through different characteristics. So let's say this one says bass. I can say I do that, and then I start scrolling through. Let's not do that. How about that? Let's do... Ooh, that was weird. Let's try these guys. Let's load that one. And we'll load a couple more. Oh, that one's crazy. It's very out of tune. Oh shit, that's one thing is I've got the I've got the um the pedal on. I'm gonna back bypass the pedal. Alright. So going back to this vibe here. So now you can hear it without the pedal. Alright, so we'll load that guy. I keep making the um, mistake of not selecting the next pad. If you if you find a new sound and you don't select another pad, you've erased, you you load over top of the sound that you were just. So in other words, you you erase your sound that you were trying to load. That's not not a thing you should do. Um. Oh. Mysterious island piano. Nah. Let's not do that. Ooh, my nose. Gross. Whoa. I like that one. We'll load a couple of these. Let's do a different, um, let's do a different expansion pack. So I, I downloaded these. You've got to download your, your expansion packs. Um, um, you know, these are ones that I've, I already own. Oh, we have a raid watching us load sounds. Exciting stuff, guys. Hi. Hello, Mitza and raiders maybe we'll load that one i don't know i usually just load stuff that like catches my ear um in it, it almost like it doesn't have to sound like a i'm not listening for um like stuff that sounds like a genre or sounds like a song usually it's just like what stuff catches my ear like that's a weird I don't think that's cool I don't know why somebody's like isn't that like a phone sharp that's weird let's load that I don't know bong life okay these are called bong life you see that <laughs>
Let's load that one. Okay, so we've got some sounds. Um, I'm gonna put this camera back. <laughs> Hopefully it's not like completely crazy. Hold on, let me actually just check this so you guys don't have to be looking at some weird, um, weird situation here. Okay. All right, now we're back. There you go. Um, so I've got a few sounds here now I've, I've loaded up. Um, and I just leave that window and here's all the sounds. Okay. And I can take any one of them and do all the normal stuff with it. Like, oh boy. There's this one's got a, let's do this. We'll do that. Comes in late. That one's kind of interesting. Gonna have it cut itself off. That's I'm changing the polyphony to one on that one. All right, same thing for this one. This one I'm going to do ASDR. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the one with the bird squealing and stuff. All right, so this guy, we're gonna start a new pattern. What's our BPM is 86. Okay, so it's got a little. Oh. I think that twice as long. Oh, it like does a weird thing at the end. Oh, is that because of the... No, it does like a weird like... repeaty thing at the end. I don't like that. I'm gonna tune it down so that it... hopefully lasts longer and doesn't get to that weird repeaty thing at the end. Let's tune it down more. And let's filter out the low end on it. I don't like that. All right. I'll turn it down a bit. Okay. This guy's a little, a little dancey. I don't know if that's my favorite sound. There's the bong life. All right, bong life. Let's tune this way down. Why don't we do uh, SP12 on it? All right. So here's what is interesting about this, I think. I'm gonna put a, um, four. can you hear the click? Two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm just gonna put one of those on. It's like got a weird shrill thing happening. All right, let's turn the click track off. And let me just put on, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna put on, I'm gonna put on the um, pedal now and start playing around with some, some effects on this thing. Thank 
about that so it's weird right like it's a new new kind of sound I'm kind of into that Bye. 
lot here. Now let's put, let's just grab, let's do this whole thing and make a new sound over top of it, okay? Um, so this was, I mean, these don't even have like real, I don't have a name for any of this, it's very intuitive. Okay, so let's find, this should stop like like have it start in a <laughs> I can't like start recording in the middle of a phrase I mean I can but another sound. Do you remember that weird like bass note? Here, help. On its own. It's just this. Okay. But, and then I put some effects on it. It's a different kind of, yeah, whoa. Like not on? Oh, that's why I went over it. These are all mono, by the way. We're gonna have to address that. Weird, weird, man. 
Yeah, bro, this is so weird. Get a new piece of gear and all of a sudden, new things happen. This has all been on the lo-fi um, chip, by the way. Let me switch cartridges. Switch to the, uh, here, we'll let you vote. I'm gonna let you vote on the next cartridge. Should we try, ah, I need to do that. Um, let's do a poll. Let's see, should we do, what are the other ones here? Close that old poll. Um, we've got, what is it? Generation loss. We've got synth, which is not very synthy, by the way. And pitch. Go ahead and vote. One minute, but one minute poll. Um, control plus. Generation loss. Ooh, generation loss jumped right out in front, didn't it? Yeah, is it spoopy? Is it creppy? Man, Halloween this year was not terrible. I thought it was probably gonna lose a lot of its luster. Being, you know, in LA, you, they, don't, they didn't want you to do um, uh, trick-or-treating or any of that stuff. No parties, no trick-or-treating. It was weird. We ended up watching, the kids watched, we had, we had them watch, we put on Hocus Pocus in the backyard. And they had a like a couple friends over and you know everybody stayed like their little like social distance and everything and we set up like, we borrowed like a little and not little it was like a pretty good size like um projection screen and and projector that my friend had we borrowed that and played hocus pocus and then we watched the great pumpkin charlie brown uh special that old one and uh then the kids left and uh just anna and i and my brother and them went and watched um nightmare on elm street 3 which is great i haven't seen that since i was like really young um dude it's so great <laughs> freddy man best I loved Freddy. I loved Robert Englin and the whole Nightmare on Elm Street thing. That was my favorite. I liked Freddy more than Jason and Michael Myers. Although Michael Myers is probably my number two. I, I was never a huge Jason fan, although Jason is very, you know, classic Halloween scary character. They're all great. But. Child's Play. Do you watch Child's Play? Yeah, man. All right, so Generation Loss was our winner here. Uh, we'll go... Uh, Let's do generation loss. See what's on that chip. See what's on that chip. What we're gonna make here. I guess I could run like a synth through it. Well, let's see what it's got. Let's see what happens. So, this is just the sound on its own. Oh, fuck. There we go. Just like not. Oh, there it is. Maybe I should put it in minor. What about pentatonic minor? We'll do that. Okay, now let's run it through the pedal, see what happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't think this particular sound does much with this thing, but let's try a different sound. Okay. I like that it wobbles it. It almost sounds like it's like backwards. I'm just gonna put random little runs. This is nice little like. Second, I want to try some here. I've got to hear the click to do it. Okay, I gotta to go to a new pattern because that one's already used. Oh fuck! Hold on one second. Hmm. So I want to undo that. And then I want to do a new this pattern should be twice as long. Oof. Okay. They're getting tricky now. Okay. How do I do a step? And then I want to go to the next pattern. Okay. And then keyboard I want to do. Will this work? Keyboard, that note. Can I put it in? No. Why not? Do the why. Why? This is a B flat three, but I just want to put it. Why can't it? Oh, that's why. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, okay, now I know what I'm doing. 
Hold on, how do I erase these? Do, 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 like that, like this. Okay, so I want these to be C3. Right? C no C C four. Yeah. Why is it going to C three? I want it to be C four. Ah, every single one of them. Can't I make that the key? <sighs> I want it to play that. I want it to play that note in every time we do the. Uh, hmm. Can I copy these? All right, this is where it gets, where it gets, um, oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, um, probably best to not do this. Probably best to just do what I was going to do before, which is. Okay, here we go. just goes like faded in. Let's see if we need some, uh, like, 
drum drums. Because right now it's got a r nice rhythm. I don't know if it, I don't know if this is gonna be worse. We'll find out. Um, we'll find out. Let's see, what kind of drums? What is Opaline Drift? What is that? what it is. Interesting kick. I like that kick. Lots of interesting stuff in here. Glad I checked this out. This is kind of the vibe. Turn the, uh, the, um, I want to turn the metronome up. Is that under settings? Let's find out. No, 
know what I should do? I should save this because it's <laughs> I've been finding that I've been I've been pushing this thing a little far and it it, it cra it'll crash on me. <laughs> um so yeah. Alright, saved. That was quick. Alright, hang on. I gotta, I'm gonna turn this thing off and just run the... Like... What happened? It's not... Oh, I'm not in the... There we go. Why don't I put this guy... Here like this. Now I'll quantize it a little more. I should probably erase. Let me try it again. I'm just gonna put this on the right on the beat. That's better. All right, cool. So a little slop. Let's try that. Now, since this is not locked into the um, the track, gotta try and get it. So what I do is it's kind of like DJing. You gotta be like, okay, I may have gotten it. You gotta kind of just get it on the beat to the best of your ability and then you tempo, change the tempo faster and slower to like catch up to the, just the right spot. And once you're there, it's gonna stay there. Um, but then I can take this beat and I'll play with the, uh, I'll play with the pedal and see if the pedal is like, does anything cool.
cool. It's not like... Yeah, lucky I don't spend a lot of time like leaned over that pedal like that. Maybe I should put the pedal board up higher. It's a good stretch though. It's a good stretch. It's a, is it a reverse pedal? No, it's kind of like a, um, like a modulation. What do you call that? It's almost like an LFO, like, like modulation. So it's going every time a sound hits, it's going, Whoa. right? So let's see if I um, actually maybe since this track goes further than what I did there, maybe I'll just pull this thing out of here. Okay. <laughs> so it sounds like it there it sounds like it wants to do like if I take this and put this here, then it, it'll when it hits that six it'll it'll come back in. Feels like it wants to be wants to build.
What if I take, instead of running the, uh, let's try this. Instead of running the, um, machine into the, um, pedals, I'll run the a keyboard into the pedals. So, let's do Juno? I don't know. Let's do Juno. Sounds like a, like the the song is like skipping. <laughs> Let's try another sound. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Plugins on some things to get this thing shape it up here. Since it's all like um, basically mono. That last sound was like a bunch of stuff. Um, I have the Juno going through the Cooper effects for those who are pedal collectors. Um, Cooper effects arcades with the synth, no, generation loss we chose, generation loss. And then I have it going through the um, Electro Harmonics hog with a little bit of octave to add a higher register to it. And then the last thing is a really weird pedal um, called the Elysis Bitter Man. It's like got, a, it's like a, a 90s, early 90s pedal or something. Um, it's all plastic. They don't make them anymore. And it's got like a really aggressive um, phaser, an aggressive bit crusher, distortion and compression, and you can put them all in different like orders and whatever um yeah oh did it crash uh-oh is it are we out are we gone is it all the way dead hold on hold on hold up are we back the stream is fine what died hold on what died it's not me. Streamlabs is dead? What's... I have to reset the Streamlabs bot. <laughs> you broke a Streamlabs? Weird. The bot's not responding. Oh, well, you know, it's just, it's all the aliens in the, the track here. Let's do a little mixing. Let's get a little mix going on this thing, because it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. What do I want to do with that thing? I don't think I want to. I don't want to do anything to, it's mostly about like levels and EQ and, and um, stereo field here. Let me just loop this little bit. 
get these few tracks. This one just needs to be pan, panning around. I always like the pan man. So I have uh, just a default like left right panner that I like to use. I wrote, basically just made this like simple left to right. You can make it smoother. You can see the little red guy, that's your left and right. Um, make it wider. Let's make it all the way wide. Let's thin that out a tiny bit. I feel like... Thin out the low ends and high ends, get rid of it. Especially down here. this guy to be just slightly more um, the main like bass note thing I'm gonna make it a, just a little more stereo um, let's try like this micro shift it's kind of like a chorus whoa too wide the thing is that's like huge but I don't want this thing to be like huge I just want it to be like a little wider that might be nice. Let me see what happens if I do instead of that. What if I try? Meaning, I like the sound of my, I like the sound of this, of the thing that I started with, and I don't want to change that too much. I just want it to feel wider. But maybe we occasionally let it do that. <laughs> right? Maybe just a little, a little sometime. <laughs> what happens if I take this and I put it on a return? There's a return. Remove it from there and put it on the return. Turn it up to all the way. So then anything I send to it, okay, hang on, it's too bright.
<laughs> All right, so. How come the pan, the like, the send volume isn't on the, on the menu here? I don't want track volume. Show all parameters, man. Mixer. A. What? I thought that I could automate the. The send. Can't I? Oh, that's it right there. There it is. This felt better when it didn't. I feel like it's got a. Yeah, that the, the, the re reverb on it's no good. It's like the computer is like, I like freaking out. I like it. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Auto <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that that is like really aggressively annoying but i kind of i think it's i think there's something to it i just think that it's um too much so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this on its own track here and turn it down let's animate a filter automate animate let's automate it Let's do that again. Guess what happened? We went too far. We went too far, we broke it.
See what happens. Would you like to recover your work? Yes, I would. Let's see. We pushed it. We pushed, we pushed, pushed it, it really, really far. far. Whoa. Whoa. We pushed it. Let's see. It's recovering my... It does auto saves. It's trying to restore the live set right now from auto save. Let's see what happens. Let's see how much of it it restores. We were working on the outro. It didn't get that. Oof. Okay. Yeah, it didn't get that. Oh, maybe it did. Whoa, weird. Okay, let's see what happens. It got the gate. Okay, it's close. Hold on, listen. It's got that part. Okay, so pretty close. Okay. afraid to put guitar rig because that's what crashed it a second ago. Um, let's try decapitated. Yeah, let's try this one. Better. top because this whole thing is really it's a lot <laughs> okay Cool. 
I think it needs to go louder. What needs to be louder? The whole thing? The whole thing is needs to be louder. Here, I'll put the whole thing in a in a group and and do the thing. Okay. Sorry, I put a gate on my mic because it was bothering me. I should probably take it off. Watch. Threshold. Boom. Hello. Oh boy. All right, volume is going up. Hold on. Volume's going up. So watch your ears. Let's do I always like that. Just transparent setting. It's kind of nice. Okay, wowzers. That was a fun one, you guys. What a nice experiment. Those pedals are great. I'm liking these new pedal, this new pedal. I, I keep thinking of it as more than one pedal because it's got like all the little cartridges. Okay, sniff. Do we need a sniff emote? Might need one. Um, that sounds like, but that sounds like, <laughs> I'd be scared that you put a sniff emote up and they'd be like, it's like the coke head emote. That'd be bad. Uh, let me put the, like loop this thing up and turn down the. All right. Hidden meaning, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Ah, yes. All right, cool. What do we got in terms of uh, questions here? Oh, I put like, I forgot I put this little, oh, let me just check this one. I added a, 
a plug-in while we were doing this. Well, this guy. This guy. And it doesn't sound good. There you go. Friends, we've got a raid that's been subscribed or redeemed. Um, it is for Alex Bent drums. Wait, did we do the Alex Bent? No, we didn't do the Alex Bent drums. Um, what do we got with some questions here? Uh, 101 Nemesis says, have you met Starset and Muse? No, I have not. <laughs> Who are, <laughs> who's Muse? Um, have you ever thought of doing a collab with them? Um, no, they're great. I mean, I don't know Starset, I know Muse. What's Starset? Um, your streams inspire me to do, learn cakewalk and start learning piano. Dope, awesome. Good luck with it, 101 Nemesis. I'm sure you're gonna make some cool stuff. I wasn't aware that doing that is like a, uh, if you've got Tourette's, like a the little mouth popping thing is like a Tourette's thing. Do you know that? There's like a streamer. I saw, I caught a streamer. Oh shit, I'm forgetting her name was a girl. And I just, I was just clicking on some different things and I, and she was doing that stuff. But she's like super funny because she's, yeah, Anita. She was doing Among Us. She didn't have any like, yeah, it's a tick, right? Yeah. I remember seeing her um, a long time ago on like, I think she was doing um, YouTube videos at the time. But yeah. My pop noise is a good name for a fish. <laughs> this is my fish. My fish's name. Um. <laughs> Sabrina says, Hey Mike, thanks for doing these streams. You and your music has helped me through hard times. My question is, do you have a scar from when Brad threw the soda at you? <laughs> I didn't, I actually caught it somehow. I was like, hey, can I get a Coke? And he reached over and instead of like handing it to me or like lobbing at me, he like softball pitched it at my head. And I think it was just like a, just like a mistake, like oops, and and like meant to throw it, but he chucked it at me so hard, and <laughs> I wasn't the only one in the room who was like, "Whoa, holy shit, man! <laughs> you threw that very aggressively." Um, but it luckily did not hit me. Um. Musket Jones says, I just rewatched the making of A Thousand Sons. Was making the album really as stressful as it seemed in the documentary? I mean, at times it wasn't, and at times it was. It was like, uh, it was like there were moments when we felt like we were going back. We had been working on it for months and we were like going back to the drawing board, which is a bad, that's a bad feeling. 
not a good that's not a good feeling um and it started off you know i think you know the story like it started off as like we were gonna do this like video game thing and then the video game thing turned into like it that fell apart and then that turned into like well maybe we'll just do like kind of a almost like a score to it was really weird like a score to an idea <laughs> it didn't make a lot of sense and then we started getting um the visuals together and then the you know, making the music while we like worked with Josh Vanover on the visuals and that like helped make, bring some of the concepts into focus when we were like thinking about things more, almost more visually or more abstract in an abstract way. But yeah, we had a bunch of moments where it was just like, this is falling apart. Um, um, easier to runner wants everybody to watch their um uh yeah, my december animated video i have since i haven't watched it i'm not going to play it on the channel because of i think the content sounds like it could be pretty heavy so uh go to easier to runners um easier to runner 1989's instagram page and check it out I haven't watched it. If you're interested, go check that out. Um, Koizu says, I'm running out of good questions. If a company approaches you to create a virtual instrument together, how would that sound, look, and feel? Is there a niche of plugins that you feel is not covered yet? That's st strangely, I feel like there's always, um, there's always, there are always subtle like advances or like things that are timely that like, oh, this is a vibe right now in music and they make a plugin that like does a cool thing. Like like very, um, there's one called like, is it called the sauce or something that I don't, I don't use, but it's like very much that like warm, saturated, like wobbly kind of sound you hear in a lot of trap and stuff like that. Like I think of like Travis Scott and like it's kind of muffled sounding and it's and it's it's not a chorus it's almost like a pitch modulation which is kind of like a chorus but it's like a very specific combination of things and they don't they don't say like this is a chorus this is whatever it's like it's turning a knob modulates a few different parameters so it's i think it's that's what it sounds like to me um so yeah, there's always room for, I don't know what my plugin would sound like. I probably not that, just because of that type of stuff is like, uh, you know, people, you can get that down. Like why develop, for me, like why develop a thing? Why would I develop a thing that's not, you know, specific to some piece of music that I'm doing? Um, question from Aladdin333. What are your thoughts on Spotify, Apple, Google, music algorithms? Love everything you've done for us over the years. Never, can never thank you enough. Um, music algorithms. I think that you're talking about like music discovery. I assume. Um, the discovery thing is like it, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not particularly like excited or bothered one way or the other by it. It's just, you're going to find music how you're going to find it. So it doesn't really bother me. You know, some people are like, but they're putting, some musicians are like, but they're putting somebody's music in front of people. <laughs> Here's a version of that argument. Um, they're just force feeding like Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber to everybody. Like that argument is actually incorrect. And I think it's incorrect. And it's also a, like an excuse. Like if you hear that kind of argument, that's like, yeah, well like big companies are like, like pushing these like pop groups or whatever lame artists 
this is a real thing. Like, there are artists, there are people who do that. Like, yeah, like, that's the reason real music isn't, like, nobody's listening to real music. And, of course, that definition of whatever it is they're talking about, real music is subjective. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of stupid. I don't believe any of that. Because it used to be worse. It used to be way worse. Like, in the days of, like, before any of art, or before my time, or whatever, it was like, if you had, like, what was it called? Like, in the days of American Bandstand and, like, Dick Clark and all that stuff. Don't even, I see with the Paola, gar yeah, Paola, like, it's not even just Paola. Like, back then, like, they would just decide certain stuff was, like, even if it wasn't Paola, they just decide certain things is like, were the thing. And they just go with that. <laughs> American Bandstand. And yes, there was Paola and all that too. Um, yeah, super crazy. Now it's like, whatever, like, yeah, people have relationships and you can get like the the relationships thing is stupid because you can't be mad at that because of course a person who makes a playlist like has knows people right like so if you make the rock an alternative playlist if you make the pop playlist if you make whatever number of those things that um people listen to like you like people are sending you stuff to put on your playlist you, you can't be living a bubble What's up, Raiders? Welcome to the channel. Just m listening to the thing that I made today. Um, there's 31 of you. Welcome. We've got a whole bunch of uh, a lot of subscribers today. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys some shout-outs in a minute. We'll answer a couple questions though before we get there. Um, let's see what this question is. Magica626 says, not a question, but a gratitude. Today is my birthday, and it started off horrible, but thanks to you, I'm able to enjoy it. Thank you wholeheartedly for all you do. I'm immensely proud fan. I'm an immensely proud, proud fan. Thanks, Magica. Thanks for being here. Hope you have had or have or about to have or whatever a good birthday. Um, it was from a couple days ago, so it's not from today, actually, now that I'm looking at this. Um... Pim75, hey Mike, I'm from Sweden. I wanted to say thank you so much for doing the post-traumatic show in Stockholm. It meant so much. Thank you. Oh my God, did you guys, for those of you that caught the, um, what was it called? Animal Talking with Gary and I Justine and Dr. Lupo and everybody. It was like such a fun, that was such a fun interview last week. Did a, a Halloween um, Animal Crossing visit and interview. And I had not like met, met I Justine. I still have not met, met I Justine. But she, they, somebody said like, she's like a legit, like, you know, she really like is a legit fan, like loves the music and stuff. But she, she came to the post-traumatic shows, which I always feel like that, like it's one thing to be like, yeah, I saw Linkin Park in like 2015 or whatever. Like she came to the post-traumatic shows, which is a smaller like subset of people, you know? So that was cool. And plus she's apparently got, they were, everyone's like, you know, picking on her because she actually has like a, a, a Mike Shinoda stage on her Animal Crossing Island. <laughs> so anyway, that is, that's pretty legit. And um, I'm gonna have to go visit her island now to see that so we can all enjoy whatever it is that's going on over there. Um, that's my alarm, guys. It looks like it's time to go. Uh, gonna do some shouts out to you guys uh, before I run. Um, God, Reckless on Twitch sub, Claire Carter 1979, Nighthawk Nina, Char1112, Anka Van D, Seashells, LMAO Josie, Nadine subbed, Serenity Des subbed, Coco Blue Games subbed. Oh no, Coco Blue Games gifted, sorry. Receiver 300 subbed, Reformed 1262, Maria 4LP, Javi Ignacio 7, Inline 4 Princess, Mind Your Music, um, Mermaid Ghostly, 
Uh, shout out to MDK Reaper for the raid. Mr. Mr. Oh, Mrs. One Step Closer. Ninja1944. Fernanda Souza, N E N F. Um, Riley Schneider. Mitsa Volchenko subbed. Cami D. Sinaha6. Chaos EB or Chaos Seb. Vices and Discos gifted. Cyan LP sub. Thorn XBL sub. Maya Exia. Jade LP. Black Chester. Koizu sub for five months. Kev Sherlock LP 97. Rebel Danny subbed. Uh, Flo Tao 1 TY. Johnny Diablo 831. Tazi subbed. Uh, Dai Taito. Zephyrat gifted, Miz Mizishi subbed, AWH S S Swory subbed, Wonder Woman Lulu subbed, Ed Arrow subbed, Minus Zero subbed, Julie 2817 subbed, Zara's 96 subbed, Chris Dancer 5 subbed, Raya gifted, Rich Goldspink, Goldspink, Goldspink subbed, AWH Swory subbed, uh, Archon 244 and a uh, shout out to Carla Cartasia and then Janae gifted a one month sub that has helps. Thank you guys very much. I'm gonna try and do this raid. Music keeps me sane wants to raid Alex Benjamin. Let's see if it's gonna work today. And I'm out of here. Um, to oh, tomorrow I'm not gonna be on, by the way. Um, I have some uh, family stuff to do. Oh man, Alex Bent Drums is not on right now. So we're gonna look at some of these other um, raids. Let's see, we got Art of Lee. Got a raid to Art of Lee. Weird. It doesn't come up like the right way. Well, let me see if Art of Lee is actually on. Let me, just, let me look at this a different way. And looks like Art of Lee is on. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in the chat instead of doing it on the dashboard. Uh... All right, Nori Song redeemed this raid. I'll see you guys on um, Wednesday, it looks like. All right. Enjoy the raid. I'll see you guys in a couple days.